She Rejected Me is the name of the video we're going to look at here. Um, Tanmay oh. Bot. I thought you were talking about me. Not at all. Oh? Nope. Nope. I got a funny feeling. This is a Tammy Bot video, and naturally, this got my attention. Anything dealing with um, the opposite sex and relationships and stuff just catches my attention. So uh, he's got a yeah. All right. Sorry, I looked at the description and caught my attention because it said find out what happened at GameStop on my second channel. I'm like, what? You got a second channel? Is that enough? You got three million subscribers. What's the second channel? Honestly, Honestly. by Tammy Bot, and he's got 440,000 subscribers. So, you've got two channels to subscribe to with Tanmay Bot. What a jerk making you subscribe to many channels. By the way, we've got a, a live stream channel you guys should check out. YouTube.com slash Javi Live. If you want to be part of our live streams, please subscribe there. If you want to see our American content or Western focused content, let's get Jabby. If you want to see our other uh, Southeast Asian content, YouTube.com slash Jabby TV. I almost forgot the name because it's been so neglected. If you still need more, there's YouTube.com slash Achara. So. Oh yeah, that's me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I thought he was talking about himself. I didn't realize he was reacting to stuff. All right, here we go. Hello and welcome to another episode with provider and rider OP Nishan Bhai. Aaj hum dekhne wale hai. Guys with beard or clean shave? The question we all want to know. Let's see what people of India are saying. So girls, tell us that uh, what fascinates you more, guys with beard or who are clean shaven? Clean shave. Clean shave. Clean shave. Clean yeah. Clean shave. I don't like beard. You don't like beard? No. Why? <laughs> <I don't. laughs> <laughs> He's like, I have rejected him before. Hey, brother, you're talking about me. It's bad, you guys know. Do you find clean shaven guys cute? Very much. To be true, very much. If guys are clean shaved, they are cute. It's like kind of like like uh, clean shaved people. But uh, he kind of looks uh, oh, good with beard. Good with beard. Good with beard. Good with beard. Try to qualify it. Please, what are you doing? Depends. If you don't have a double chin, I'd prefer you in a beard. But a neat beard, obviously. Oh my god. I'm so confused. Isn't that backwards? I know. Double chin. What about quadruple chin? Don't you want to cover it if you're double chin? Exactly. A man without a beard is not a man. Who said that a man with no beard is not a man? Excuse me for... You know what? Girl standing in front of bus is not real girl. Anything! Anything! Do you want to tell someone that you have to keep your daddy in your hand? Has anyone ever told me? My father told me. Let's leave it. When it was sent. I had my theory from my childhood. That the sand that I had to take and 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 take कि वो आ ही नहीं पाता मेरे पास दाढ़ी है है वो बाहर नहीं आ रहा है माय बियर्ड इज इंट्रोवर्ट आई कैन लाइक पीपल हु कीप देयर बियर्ड्स वेरी क्लीन नॉट विद लाइक राइस एंड एवरीथिंग राइस कहाँ कहाँ जाके ये राइस राइस की बोला है बहुत सच कभी खाना खाते टाइम किसी के बिचारे के बिरयानी का चावल दाढ़ी पे अटक गया होगा कभी तब से इसको इसको लगता है कि ये वो लौटे भी हैं जो चावल रख के घूम क्या नहीं मैचिंग ओह माय गॉड मेरा फोन गीला हो गया एक सेकंड रुक जा रुक जा बैठ या एक चावल से सोख लेगा आपका फोन का क्या बात है मैं पोटलक पे सांपर लाई पोटलक में आया करके निकल गया चावल बन गया दाढ़ी बिरयानी भाई बियर्डो निकालने वाला है ऐसा तेल कुकर बियर्डो प्रेशर कुकर लिटरली मतलब कंगी चाहिए मैं बस इमेजिन कर रहा हूँ बुफे में लोग प्लेट सामने बेटर आके That's gross. Beardo oil लगाओगे तो फिर वो बन जाता है fried rice. Fried rice. What comes to your mind when I say clean shave? Clean shave? Yes. Me, I am clean shaven. So is it because your profession? इसको भाई काम पे जाना है इसने रोक के रखा है. He looks like he doesn't want to be there. Yeah, he's like dude. ना क्रीम लगाते हो आप? 
क्या करते हो आप शेविंग करने के लिए कौन सा माक थ्री की माक टू क्या यूज करोफेशन बदसूरत शक्ल निकालो यहाँ से मेरे को थमनेल के लिए आई नीड सम वीडियो इज पार्ट ऑफ आर रिएक्शन हाँ ओ आई कैन यूज हर फेस ओ आई कैन ओ जीनियस 400 हंड्रेड आई क्यू बाई फोर हंड्रेड आई क्यू दैट्स वाई यू आर ऑन माई स्ट्रीम निशान भाई दिस इज वाई विदाउट वर्ग दैटी मेरे लिपस्टिक खराब हो जाएगी या मुझे लिप्स में लग जाएंगी बेड सो देर आर आई गेस एक मिनट एक मिनट अब भी तो बोले थे कि बिना बिना बियर्ड का इंसान मर्द नहीं होता मर्द क्या नहीं होता विदाउट वर्ग द फैट ऑफ कि मेरे लिपस्टिक खराब हो जाएगी या मुझे लिप्स में लग जाएंगे लिपस्टिक तो वैसे भी खराब होनी है ना हाँ एग्जैक्टली exactly. उसमें बालों का क्या लेना देना आई वांट आई वांट मैन विद नो बियर्ड नो लिप्स आल्सो मेरे को मैनेकिन से ही मेक आउट करना है भाई सो आपको एक ऑप्शन चूज करना है द लुक ऑफ अ मैन हु इज गोइंग टू फायर टुडे आपको सही लग रहा है इसको दूर से रेजिग्नेशन चलता हुआ Do you like guys with beard or without beard? I like guys with employment. Good jobs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about the guys at gym? If you're a fat guy trying to work out and become and like try and be try and lose weight, then probably I would say keep the like stubble again. Yeah, keep the stubble. I'm trying to lose weight. 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 मेरे को दो स्केच पेन दो अभी नवी स्केच पेन है क्या आपने बस अब तो चाहिए कैसा लग रहा है बहुत ही बढ़िया थोड़ा पास आके दिखाओ ना मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि हमें दूसरा कवर मिल गया ये परमानेंट बेच और परमानेंट आपने किया गाइस प्लीज इमीडिएटली लाइक मारो If this does not get a few million views, this was not worth it. Shoot, yeah, lag raha hoon. Dream trip ke baad, finale se mood. Wo main waise bhi karta hoon, nahi chahta. Finale mein na jao main. Kya dekh liya aaj yaar? Na le de, kya dekh liya aaj? Please. Yeah. And a round face type. Oh, one second, one second. Can I imagine it? Someone like him with a round face. Okay, I would not even look at a guy who has a round face. आंखें बंद हो जाती है आपकी कोई सामने आ रहा है तो ये क्यों देख रहे हैं आप लोग वीडियो मेरी सिर्फ बेचते ही हो हाउ कैन यू कन्विंस हिम टू यू नो शेव इट ऑफ एम गेट अ क्लीन शेव इट ऑल इट हर्ट्स व्हेन यू गो डाउन हाउ एल्स यू आर ओके ओके आह डैम योर पेरेंट्स माइट सी दिस इट हर्ट्स व्हेन दे गो आई एम अज्यूमिंग इट डज हर्ट व्हेन दे गो डाउन दे आर लाइक Can you please go get धनिया for me? बहुत दर्द हो रहा है मुझे वॉलेट इज लाइक इट हर्ट्स वेन दे गो डाउन कुछ चावल गर्म है Tell me that uh, which brand's name comes to your mind uh, when we what's talk about razors. Her three. face. Mark three. So what's a Mark three? The three blade razor. All right. And which come? This guy is gonna slap. Like yeah. He's like, what are you asking? Big joke. Question. Shuru shuru. I was telling you, I was coming. 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 I was telling you, I was Maybe. <laughs> the boobs. <laughs> big love. I, I, I'm sure uh, she didn't mean the uh, big aspirations. Uh, big uh, dreams. <laughs> I think उसने sentence शुरुआत की. Then she was like, "मैं ये क्यों बोल रही हूँ क्या बात है?" So she was like, I, "Because they have big, they have everything big." <laughs> Aunties would be something that could actually turn a boy into a man, you know. Actually, they're great. आप जिंदगी के उस चौराहे पे खड़े हो 
जहाँ इस तरफ आप लड़के हो चौराहे पे सिग्नल की तरह जगह एक आंटी और वो क्रॉस करते ही वो आंटी क्रॉस करते दूसरी तरफ आप सीधा आदमी बिकॉज द वन थिंग स्टॉपिंग यू फ्रॉम बिकमिंग बॉय टू मैन वॉज बिग एवरी थिंग इज बिग आंटी मोदन I don't know have any answer for that. वो गूगल कर रहा था हां या देयर आर नो आंसर्स हियर ऑन गूगल इट आर स्पीकिंग फॉरवर्ड बिकॉज़ आई थिंक मिल्स इज इन फैशन दीस डेज डिपेंड्स हाउ देखा था लास्ट लेक में फैशन वीक देखा था तब मैं नहीं मिल्फी मिल्फ सो डू यू लाइक आंटीज मोर या आई डू लाइक यू नो आंटीज वाओ आई डिडंट रियलाइज वाज दैट कॉमन या व्हाट्स अप विद दैट फ्रॉम वन साइड नो किसने बोला ऋषभ पंत किसने बोला दिस कुड बी ब्रांड वर्क फॉर ऑल्ट बालाजी <laughs> Do you also look for men like uncles? Yeah, yeah sugar daddies. Sugar daddies. Yeah, the sugar daddy. I we don't find. Gana ka juice wala. Do you judge people on no. the basis of the look? None of you. I don't know about the other series and all. Like daily, it's like as an example, if you're an artist, show them you're an artist. You know, it should reflect through you. You're an artist. Background background. Yeah, what's going on? Chali chali hai bhai. Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah. Aldi ka beard nahi, beard nahi. ये आजकल के लड़के कानों में बाली लगाने वाले एक नंबर के पर्सन वॉन्ट यू नो दैट वॉट यू गेस्ट थिंग अबाउट एडल्ट्री एंड एक्स्ट्रा मैरिटल अफेयर्स एक्स्ट्रा मैरिटल अफेयर्स टोटली अगेंस्ट निशान भाई डू सपोर्ट एक्स्ट्रा मैरिटल अफेयर डिपेंड्स हु ये पकड़ा गया है पेपर वर्क करना जरूरी है अगर आप मिनिमम कोर्ट दस बारह बार नहीं गए तो आपको आपको हक ही नहीं बनता है सेक्स करने का अनलेस एवरीथिंग इज बिग देखो ना वो पत्ता भी रो रहा है साइड वाला आंसू लग रहा है ये ये पकड़ा गया यार ये कुछ तो हुआ है ये भी देख रहा है उसको कि भाई आंसू आ गए आप कब से रुका के रखा है जाने तो ना बाइक वाले भैया चलो दोस्तों उसी बात पे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग प्लीज लाइक दबा दो भाई 1.5 लाख लाइक्स कर देते हैं इसे इमीडिएटली निशांत भाई थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग हमारे Instagram लिंक्स कमेंट्स में पिंड है हमें Instagram पे फॉलो करो हमें बताओ कौन सी वीडियोस पे रिएक्ट करें और सब्सक्राइब जरूर करना दोस्तों प्लीज सब्सक्राइब करो फटाफट तीन मिलियन तक पहुंच जाते हैं ऑन दैट नोट निशान भाई थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मिलते हैं अगली बार कमेंट सेक्शन में अपनी फेवरेट आर्टी का नाम लिखना था पूरी प्लीज मत लिखो प्लीज मत लिखो प्लीज डोंट That bit at the end was a, a, a bit like a Bill Gates Apple. Uh, what do you call it? Keynote. That's a deep reference. So a long time ago, when Apple was struggling, Bill Gates signed up to help out Apple. He's like, "I'll put money. I'll buy your a bunch of your stocks. Only thing I ask for is that you put Microsoft Word into everything, every computer you sell." There's obviously that beef between Apple and Microsoft, and Bill Gates uh, was going to make an appearance on screen at an Apple keynote, mm -hmm. and it was a big ass screen. And here's little Steve Jobs and Bill Gates' big ass face. I mean, he doesn't have a big face, but it appeared big on the screen. It just had this very formidable, yeah, very 1984 kind of look. It was just weird at the end. That's the first thing I thought of. I was like, why is his face so big on the screen and Tommy、oh, Bot so small? Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. This is so random. Some of those questions were interesting. The forthrightness of some of the people is so baffling to me. I'm like, your parents are going to see this at some point. Oh, the girl. Yeah. Yeah, that that was that girl was funny. or boy, girl or boy. It's gonna make its way back to your parents. Now I understand there is this sort of pseudo sexism that goes on where it's like, okay, it's a boy. Boys will be boys, and the girls you can't like girls can't be talking that way. Like I get that. But nevertheless, it's gonna get back to your parents. This is like, did you want to take that chance? And she goes, you know, when the guys go down on you, it hurts. I'm like, why would you say that out loud? Just say to the guy, it hurts when you go down. She didn't say down on me. What would that imply? Mommy, I was just asking him to go downstairs. To, to go down on what? Pick up your Jolly、know. Rancher that fell on the floor? Like,、yeah. what do you? What is that? What yeah, could that really possibly? No、your parents、meaning. aren't that stupid. 
Your parents got you here somehow. Well, yeah, because so, they were doing it, so. Yeah, they, they know exactly what you're doing. They know what exactly what it means when you say it hurts when he goes down. I, I'm a little bit, like, confused by this because, I mean, I don't know, it's LA, and LA is a different place, but there's this notion that when guys get together and talk about girls, it's sexist. When they describe what they like, it's sexist. I don't like, uh, you know, girls who have long, Nails. How, how dare you judge a girl like she's allowed to have whatever kind of nails she wants. She's allowed to have whatever you know, kind of nails she you should, wants, you should, but you don't have to like it. You should judge her for her character. That's true. Not anything else. But they can say, please be tall in their OK Cupid profile. Yeah, I know? think that's dumb. That's dumb to say that too. I'm going to just call that out right there and say equal opportunities, right? I don't understand the big thing with the aunties that confused me. Oh, so. just like aunt. I don't know. I just thought it was like, oh, aunties are just, you know. Bigger, more the, voluptuous. There is a famous saying, a man without a beard is not a man. The thing with the beard actually genuinely confused me because if I shave, there are so many people in the comments who are like, no, don't shave, no, don't shave, we like your beard. I'm like, all right, well, I don't. So I feel like shaving sometimes. This is the first time I've seen a collection of girls going, I prefer guys clean shaven. But it's also, they're also skewing younger in the video. That's possibly why they, I don't know. But even then I'm so, I'm confused because younger broads tend to like older men. Who, and if you have a beard, you favor that more distinguished look, the uh, distinguished gentleman, you right. know? kind of look. So yeah. was, I'm confused by this video. But I mean, the video that Tammy is watching. I think my favorite part was when, when that girl who had the boyfriend with the beard was all like, oh yeah, I like clean shaven. Right and you there, just and literally just like, see his face. Yeah. He's like, what? Yeah. Like, and then she tries to save it and he's all like, don't even. I thought that was so funny. Yeah. She's, she's quite a funny character herself because she's pretty yeah. forthright. So she was quite fun to watch. And you know, that like, there was that girl who was all like, oh, if, if he has a double chin, he shouldn't have a beard. That's stupid. And yeah, we both immediately were like, no, that's like so counterintuitive because as, as far as I understand, at least. You want to cover it up? Yeah, from yeah. the beauty videos and whatnot that I've watched, some the of them. women say, it, no, the, no, the, no. Women, the, the beauty gurus to say women should have beards to cover no, up the double some chin? No, some of the beauty gurus I've watched are guys. So it actually provides you more contour on your face already. So girls are already trying to apply like darker colored makeup to kind of slim their face. To a beard? <laughs> Pretty much, right? And the guys already have it. That's a natural contour. That's a top tip. You hide that double, triple, six chins. Like, Tam poor Tammei too. He's all like, I feel personally attacked. I do wonder what he would look like with a beard. I started wondering that this entire video. I'm like, what? why doesn't he grow out a beard? Like, that might be an interesting look for him. Yeah, I think he's just said that he can't actually properly grow out a beard. Tammei, if you're watching this, I can't properly grow out a beard too. So you got no fucking excuses, buddy. This is what I got, and I make it work. Just make it work. That's what you gotta do. I got patchiness. When it grows long enough, women can't tell the difference. It's just, <laughs> it's a, a babushka, and uh, it uh, apparently makes them itch when you go down on them. Mm-hmm. The Sharpie thing was hilarious, too. I did not think that was hilarious. Like, I was concerned for him. I'm like, dude, that's gonna be hard to wash off. <laughs> and come to find out it's a permanent marker. I'm like, oh my lord. What was the deal with the girl? I mean, something must have, he must have gotten in trouble or something. Yeah, with the I reckon face. that's what happened. Like, yeah. he probably released a video and then the girl Girl, or I don't know if it's in this video or if it was in the original video, but the girl probably saw it and was like, It's in this video take it because out. whenever he paused and cut to a close up of himself, oh, there was no right. there was no blur on the girl. I kind of wanted to watch the original video after this reaction was over just to see what, because some of the answers felt like, I, I, he would pause in the middle of it to give his two cents and whatnot to make it transformative. I kind of wanted to see what they were saying before he cut in again, because I'm like, oh, where's that going? Like, where's that line of thinking going? Because the guy's going, how do you feel about extramarital affairs and all that stuff? I'm like, and where are you going with this? Like, what's the through line after that? You know, right, right. because I remember being in philosophy class, he liked to, you know, put forth ideas, the philosophy instructor. And he goes, okay, let's say that you're, he talked to some Armenian girl, let's say you're married to him and you don't want to have babies, but he does. Is it okay if he goes and makes babies with the next door neighbor lady? She goes, no, of course not, that's cheating. He goes, but you don't want to make babies. He goes, yeah, but he's married to me. He goes, but you don't want to make babies. So why not let him make babies with someone else? And it's it, like- Yeah, he, that wasn't the agreement that they had. It doesn't matter. All I'm getting, he changed his mind. He's trying to challenge the girl, right? right? I am paraphrasing in the shittiest way possible because the way he tripped her up was amazing and I'm not able to recreate that here. All I'm saying is, he was trying to create a scenario where maybe you can open up your mind to why something might be okay or should be okay, but we as a society collectively don't accept it. You know, like she doesn't want to put her body through the paces of having a baby. 
you know, offspring, but maybe someone else is willing to. Why can't that be cool? It used to be that we raised children like a village, you know? We all raised a kid, as opposed to, it's a two-person household raising a child. Yeah, but the, the child still belongs to the parents, sure. but everybody helps out. That was a bigger thing, yeah. you know, before, is all I'm saying. I thought that then maybe that's where that was headed, and it just, it went nowhere. Yeah. Why is he asking this question, like, and I don't know if it's further explored in that video or if that's just as far as it went and that's why Tanmay didn't include any more of it. The thing with the aunties is interesting. I'm like, what kind of aunties are we talking about here? When he says aunties, I'm, I'm not imagining sexy- Haunties. Um, uh, uh, yeah, a haunty. <laughs> or maybe I am imagining a, a haunty. Ha haunty. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't imagine that. I mean, more power to the sexy aunties if the, you know, younger boys are all like, yeah, I'm, I'm well into that auntie. I'm, I want to, you know, that auntie is, I'm going to stop now. Um, I don't even know where you were headed with that. Oh, uh, yeah. But, uh, I was trying to keep it PC. I, I, I would imagine. <laughs> I would imagine there's some kind of, um, not Oedipus Rex, but like there's something there where maybe you have a very domineering mom and so some part of your brain is is like turned on by that. That's why you're sort of fixated on you're like, that sort of like Tell me to clean my room, it turns me on. Okay. You, maybe you're, you're, you're fixated on some sort of pseudo parental figure and that's why you're into the auntie. Well, yeah, maybe. There's a lot of, um, in the uh, in the library that uh, 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 on the internet uh, on those special kind of websites, the blue films, a subject matter that pops up a lot, like mom and stepdaughter with the stepdaughter's boyfriend or something like okay. that. That's okay. That scenario pops up all the time, and I'm like, why though? And it's like I'm using incognito, so naturally it's just fresh shit. It's like there's no cookies, so they don't know that I'm not into this. If I had the cookies on, you know, I'm into redheads. <laughs> That's a deep joke. That's a deep <laughs> reference. Okay, uh, that's, that's not a thing. Anyway, what I'm saying is maybe if I had my cookies active, they would know that I'm not necessarily looking for that kind of content. But what pops up a lot for your random peruser is that, like the mom with the stepdaughter and the stepdaughter's boyfriend. This is a common trope in the blue films in the States. There's some kind of fixation happening with this that's emerged in the last 10 years. And it, apparently it's in India as well if they're into aunties. I'd like to know in the comments how many of you dudes are into that. Because I would imagine it's not for anything permanent. Oh, it's just to, you know. It's just to fornicate. To have fun. Yeah. To so leave. Because, because the, Tap it and leave it. The, the thing about it is imagine like, okay, you get together with an auntie and then you try to bring that home to your parents and say, we're going to get married. Hell no. That's not going to happen. That's not going to fly, right? Right? If I mean, you love her. No, but I, this is why I need to hear from you guys in the comments. Like, I, this is, I'm just so fixated on the topic now. I have to know from Shabby you guys. Shabby loves aunties. Why would you say that? You have loved aunties, no? Who? One auntie. Ache auntie. No? 